Snatch Drop. And welcome back to the Factory Experience Tour on SNES Drunk Plays Robotrek. I never realized there was a door right here that you can go out and fight more of the same enemies that we've been fighting the whole time. Uh, nothing much new down there. Let's take care of this guy. And there is an item up there. Akira, we're going to need those because these, uh, these enemies are a lot tougher. There, got the whole screen cleared out there. Yeah, these battles are time-consuming at this point. Uh-oh. Can't get out. <laughs> so, let's go back to our post. Ah, got rid of those guys. Okay. So, um, let's for this guy to get out of the way. Getting a little battle-weary. Getting a little game weary, to be honest with you. I don't know uh, how much longer I'm going to stick with this game. Yeah, you flip the switch, obviously, and now we have to sit, and uh, that reverses the treadmill thing. And now we hide behind this guy. Go up here, go down here. And I'm going to run right into this guy, damn it. I'm going to edit my way right back to this uh, spot and make sure I don't get caught this time. Because so what you got to do is go down here and flip this switch, and that will reverse these. So you can go back up this door up here. Oh, there's an item down there that I totally missed. <laughs> well, he's got a stamp. He's cool. It's like Wayne's World. Backstage pass! God, I hate it when this game does that. It's got this right in front of the door. All right, we've got a new enemy here. Let's show this battle. These things are really annoying. Yeah, as you can see, Larry, uh, I've been giving Larry kind of a break. I don't want to use him up. Yeah, see, when you kill these guys, they explode and uh, explode on you pretty much to give you more damage, which is super annoying. The enemies here really do a lot of damage. And I think my my defense at this point for Leonard is like 70, like 65, 70, I think. And uh, they're still dealing a ton of damage. Boss room. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Huh. Sounds like two people we're familiar with already. Dr. Einst, it is. And she'll take the mare. Oh, I gave it away. She'll take the mare. Pink text, if it's not mint, there's another female character, if you remember. Whoa, wait a second. <laughs> not toilet cleaning. Yeah, the other character is Rose, mayor secretary, obviously. Sentenced to 100 years of toilet cleaning. I have, in fact, cleaned public toilets before, and uh, it's not fun. Can't say I enjoyed it. Oh, let's see if I can dodge these guys. Did it. Yes. Yeah, I used to work at a warming house. Um, if you're not from the Midwest, a uh, warming house is like, yeah, let's, easiest way to go back is just to get caught. Um, so yeah, we want to go back and go to the uh, bathrooms where the guy is cleaning toilets. <laughs> um, the... Uh, a warming house is where you, uh, it's fr its uh, kind of like a trailer or like a cabin next to a, um, do I want to go this way? Next to an outdoor ice rink. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much where you get warm, obviously, hence the name. And uh, it's where uh, you change your shoes into skates. It's where you just rest. So I sat in the warming house and, and counted the people and basically threw a first aid kit at if anybody got hurt. It was the easiest job in the world. I, I had it when I was a teenager. Wait, who is this guy? Hmm. Where's he going? Oh, it's Blondie. Gotetsu. Okay. Hmm.
<laughs> it comes out in the volcano. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, but I want to go in there. Can I take a whiz? No, I can't take a whiz. All right, well... <laughs> I don't care what you smell. Well drunk, take care. Thank you, Kotetsu. I assume he goes back into his disguise after he's done cleaning toilets. All right, we're back in the dungeon. Oh, no. These things. Yeah, we got more new enemies here, and these things are super annoying. Because they're very uh, quick. Yeah, and since uh, I have Leonard, I don't. Um, I can't run the crash. Hey, he just dropped a bathtub on me. Um, I can't run the crash program because in order to, for that program to work, you need uh, weapons in both hands. You need the gun or a sword or an axe or whatever in both hands. And, um, yeah, he, he has a shield for defense so he can stay alive and withstand these things. I'm just going to roll with Leonard for the next while because um, I don't want to waste all my repairs constantly repairing Larry. He's more of my power guy for bosses and for bigger opponents, for bigger enemies. And he, uh, yeah, he's been dead for a while. <laughs> um, he uh, just gets, he takes too much damage. It's like 20 hit points per hit at this point. We have another new enemy over here. I want to approach him from behind. There we go. Looks like uh, the Toads from uh, Boss Toad, Looks the Toads from uh, Lufia, the first Lufia game. All right, only two. I can handle that. Yeah, I don't want to get too fancy with uh, attacks here. Just, just a straight up axe attack. And hey, I leveled up. Pretty cool. Yeah, at this point when you level up, you want to apply all your points towards defense. Because if you don't, you won't last long in this game at all. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, we want to restore Larry, obviously. Um, yeah, his guard is only at 37, so his, um, his, uh, do, do I want to add power while I'm at it, I guess, maybe? No, I'd better do, uh, put it all towards guard. Right now, as it is with, at 37, he was getting 15, 20 points per damage for every freaking enemy we came across, and it's getting kind of annoying. Uh, his, since Leonard's guard is already pretty good... Um, at 60, but we, we want to get all the way. I think he can max out at 99, and, that, and that's really what I want to get to eventually. Yeah, and it costs 200 gold to restore Larry. We want to do that, obviously. Now with his improved defense, hopefully he'll last a little longer in battle. Yeah, a lot of really tough enemies around here, but they do give uh, quite a bit of gold that I don't really have any use for at this point. Got those guys cleared out. Man, those things are annoying. I got a couple of cures out of it, and yes. Yes, you will need lots of cures at this point. Anything down here? No. Let's see. Ah, more of these things. Where do I want to go? Avoid these guys. There we go. Oh! Dag nabbit. Yeah. And Larry got poisoned, so we need a clean... At least those uh, bee things, or whatever those are. <laughs> the uh, Those things are pretty easy to, to take out, relatively speaking. Those, those little gator heads, though, like that thing right there, are super annoying and super tough. So, nothing up there. Ugh. Okay, nothing up there. Let's go down this way. So, what's down? Come on, don't tell me there's nothing down here. Are you serious? It's a freaking trap. Why does this game do that? There's absolutely nothing down there. Oh, skillfully avoiding enemies. Avoiding enemies kind of becomes a priority in this game. Yeah, as you can see, Larry is continuing to take a beating. He's, he's doing pretty good on the defense. But, uh, oh god, I'm gonna have to... He's doing pretty good on the defense. Yeah, I ran away from that because it's three of them. No thanks. I don't want to fight three of those things. 
Okay, now where do I go? Well, you know what? We're going to keep wandering around here, and until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.